Rex, wait. I don't think we should go running over to Scarlet's. It'll be just like when you went over there by yourself, and I don't think another fight is going to help me get custody. But if he's taken off with the baby... I, I know I said that, but the more I think about it, I, I don't think he would do that. Not before the case is settled. Right now, he still has a chance of keeping her. Well, unless he knows there's a reason the judge would rule against him, and he's afraid of it coming out in court. Scarlet. Told you. Is that what was going on when you you wouldn't open the door? There was someone here. She came and she took her, and there was nothing. There was nothing Who, I could Skyler? do. Skyler, who Look, took she, Sierra? She warned me. Look, okay? I don't care what she said. If you do not tell me, you will never see her again. Who did this? Her name is Allison Perkins, and I have no idea where she took my baby. See, where is that coming from? What that? I don't even know what you're talking about. The baby. What else? Honey, I told you we're not even open. I'm just doing a favor for an old client. So we'll talk tomorrow. No. Okay. We're going to talk now. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on here. Roxy, where is the baby? And why are you pretending it doesn't exist? I'm not pretending about nothing. You're not. Yeah, why would I be pretending? I wouldn't be pretending about nothing, you know that. Oh, um, my uh, goodness. Are you all sweetie? Oh, is that better? You don't seem surprised. Oh, I didn't realize you meant that baby. Cute kid, huh? You know, someday maybe I'll make her a blonde. Roxy, whose is she? Who does this baby belong to? Maybe Skylar really did have babysitter problems. It's happened to me enough times. Why are you defending him, I'm just Marasco? trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. The guy is fighting you for custody. Yeah, and he could win. Let's face it, the judge could rule that Sierra has to stay with her father. No freaking way. Why aren't you in the courtroom? Skylar couldn't make it. The hearing has been postponed for 24 hours. Just as well. Would have been a big waste of time. Why? Because I'm the one who's going to be raising Stacy's baby. <laughs> she injected me with something. You lost consciousness? Yes, yeah, when she took Sierra. God, I gotta, I have to get her back. I gotta oh, get her oh, back. Oh, okay. Did Allison Perkins <sighs> say anything, anything at all, that could have indicated where they were headed? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember most of what she said. Most, most of it was, was pretty crazy. I mean, she was trying to tell me that, that Sierra was connected to Mitch Lawrence. How? I don't know. Okay, we have to call Bo. No, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Look, 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 look. Oh, what a cutie. Yeah. Why, this little munching could give the Olsen twins a run for their money. Yeah. That is if she lives long enough. <laughs> oh, don't worry. She's gonna be fine. Yeah, as long as you don't call the cops or do anything stupid like tell someone what's up. She said she would call me back with further instructions. Please, don't, please. Okay, Scott. When Allison took Jessica and Natalie, it was years before Vicky even knew she had another daughter. Is that how long you want to wait to see your daughter again? Look, Jess, I appreciate the offer. Don't... You're not raising my sister's baby. Think again. Guess who filed these papers? On what grounds? On the grounds that it's what Stacy wanted. She told me so. She told you too, Rex, remember? Uh, maybe she mentioned it once. You don't once. have a prayer, Kim. I'm a blood relative, so is Skylar. And you, you're nothing where Sierra is concerned. My legal team has a different take on it. Legal team? Granderson, Granderson, and more. <laughs> you're right. They're representing me, moron. Get used to it. My husband's actually meeting with them right now. You're what? Wow, you two really do need to get out more. Like the bling, courtesy of Clint Buchanan. I don't think this is like what happened to Jessica or Natalie. I, I think Allison wants something. What, like a ransom? Well, yeah, what else? Well, I don't know, but if she wants money, you don't have any. You are in way over your head here. What's this? Social worker's ID. That's who Allison pretended to be. That's how she got in here. Well, what happened to the real Melanie Pacifico? I don't want to know. 
Skrinner, this woman could be lying dead somewhere. We have to call the police. Oh, yeah, and so Allison will freak out and hurt my daughter? I can't do that, Taya. She blows to a client of mine, I'm babysitting. You know, I need a couple of bucks. Okay, so why didn't you just say that from the beginning? Why'd you have to lie about it? Well, you know, I'm not supposed to have kids here. You know, <clears throat> there's a lot of chemicals in here and stuff, so I'm trying to keep things on the, the lowdown. Right, so these chemicals, why don't I smell them? Roxy, what is going on here? And you might as well tell me the truth, because you know I'm going to find out anyway. Did Jessica get back to you? No, that was fish. He was patrolling out by land fair, so I'm asking him to swing by, check things out. Just make sure Natalie's okay. Jessica's probably still at school. Yeah. What's that? This is everything recovered from Allison Perkins after she was apprehended. Is that the uh, disc that's supposed to bust everything wide open? That's what she claimed. You know, maybe this has a message from Lawrence on it. With a big announcement that he's back from the grave? Yeah, or that he's Rex Balsam's father. You know, that would have a, an impact on the family, too. No reason to deliver it now, right? So now she's waiting for more instructions. Yeah, if she remembers what happened. Any chance the coma scrambled her brains? Uh, well, it wouldn't matter where Allison's concerned, you know? I mean, she thinks that Mitch is the only reason for her to live. Mm. So we assume that he's still pulling her strings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she wouldn't make a move without him. What's going on here, Roxy? Okay, kiddo, you're right. You know, I'm trying to get rid of you, and I'm sorry. But uh, I'll make it up to you. Honey, I don't want an apology. I want to know why you lied. You Clint married Clint. Clint married you. Clint gets how much Stacy meant to me. And we're both going to make sure that Sierra has the life her mother always wanted for her. With you. I was her best friend. That does not make you a mother. Oh, well, I can learn. And Clint and I are going to make sure that she has everything a child could possibly want. So you think money is the only thing that will make a kid happy? No, but it's the only thing Kim needs. Sierra Rose is your ticket, huh? You go to Clint. Oh, uh, how am I going to raise this poor child? Bam! Suddenly there's a ring on your finger. Okay, think whatever you want. The judge knows what's going to be best for little Sierra. Home with two parents who can give her a hell of a lot more than she's got right now. Okay, tell me, what is the story with this baby, Roxy? Well, um, sorry, I, I mean, I didn't mean to lie to you, it's just that I thought, um... I... You really want to know? I thought maybe you shouldn't be around a little bundle of joy, because I'm already expecting and everything. Oh. Really? You thought that it would be hard for me? Yeah, and I don't want to rub sauce into old wounds. Sweet, Rox, but I'm okay. Yeah, well, we're not gonna push it, you know, because another couple of minutes and you're gonna get all gushy and sob when you with that little nugget. So I think you better skedaddle, I'm right? Okay, honestly, I'm fine. I, I'm not jealous about the baby. Honestly, when John and I were together, I didn't really think much of having kids. I just figured he'd be too busy chasing the bad guys. Keep in You know, with John, work always came first. I completely understood, and I guess that's why I thought that we were. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm rehashing this. John is going to be a father. He, he's about to have a baby. I mean, he's in a completely different universe. Oh, you know, you're so right. You can't keep on beating a dead hearse. And what's done can't be undone. Listen, baby, I gotta get back to my customers. What's wrong, baby? It's okay. It's okay. You know, she probably dropped her pinky. You know, no, it's okay. You know, I'll find it and then I'll plug her up again. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Da -da -da. Where did you get those beautiful blue eyes? Ah, you're like Hollywood material, you know that? Yes, you are. What's your name? Oh.